Good morning. It is 6.15 in the morning. Yes, why am I up at 6.15 in the morning? I am going off to work today, but before I go to work, I am going to prepare our dinner for tonight, which is going to be pulled pork. Before we get to that, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do. This is Peg and C from Loves to Travel. And um, hit the subscribe button, please. And also hit the like button afterwards. This literally came out of our deep freeze and all I did was unpack it. All I did was um, put some salt on it and then I used chicken broth. About a cup of chicken broth at the bottom. This is the way I cook it. It may not be the way anybody else cooks it. It just, this recipe works really well for us. It's a really simple recipe. It doesn't need to take a lot of money. So you can use chicken broth, you can use beef broth, you can use any kind of broth in there. We tend to use chicken broth to make it easy and it's what we have readily available. And then, like I said, I put some leftover, the centers of the pineapple for flavoring. And you could even put the pineapple juice inside of what you cut up of the pineapple. Since pineapples were on sale last week for 87 cents a piece, we used it. So we try to use everything we buy. So remember, this pulled pork was bought probably three months ago. And whenever they're on sale 99 cents, I buy it and I stick it in the deep freeze. So all I do is cover it. I'm back again. I realized after I put it in, the fat side was up. So I flipped it and the fat side is down. Technically, you're supposed to have the fat side down. And the reason I put it up before was the crock pot was too small for the pork roast and it barely fit. So I had to wait till it basically defrosted a little bit so it could fit. So I'm gonna finish doing the other side, which is kosher salt. I just use Kroger kosher salt is what I do. And salt it. I salt at the bottom, not gonna salt the top. And then I just use pepper. We use Kirkland fine ground black pepper. For flavoring. So as you could tell, it now fits pretty good. Before it wasn't fitting. And that's why I, when I pick a certain one, I said it has to fit the crock pot. So sometimes it's too big to fit the crock pot. And you just have to cut it down because I throw it in frozen. It's really hard to cut. Peggy is making crock pot pulled pork and she put this in the crock pot, I think about seven o'clock this morning. So I'm gonna check and see what it looks like right now. Oh man, look at this. Let this all cook down and add barbecue sauce and let it simmer some more. But, uh, but yeah, there you go, crock pot pulled pork. This is about mm, probably well, five and a half hours into it, maybe six hours into it. So it's still got a few more hours to go, but crock pot pulled pork, that's what we're gonna be having for dinner tonight, I think. So how long has it been in there now? 12 hours almost. I started about 6.15 this morning, so it is done. Right. Um, they said you could put it in there for 12 hours. If you, and if it falls apart, then it is completely done. So we're gonna show you how we make really quick and easy sandwich. And then the rest of it, you could do a couple things with it, but let's go do the sandwich really quickly. So we're doing what I call crock pot pulled pork, right? Right, so this is a very easy crock pot pulled pork recipe. So let's move this off to the side. This is the way I do it. Uh, right now, it is very, very hot. So I, I wonder why it's been in a crock pot for 12 hours. Yes. So it's very hot. So I am going to use two forks. So I basically just basically pull a piece of meat off. And you can flip it if you want because it's more tender in the bottom than it is at the top. See? Oh, look at that. Yeah, this falls right off. So let's do, do only a little bit, not much. Let's go 
Now, how long have we had this roast in the freezer? Uh, we, got, since, we, got, we got it on sale, didn't we? Since February 24th. Okay. So we pulled it out this morning. It was totally frozen. Where did we get this one? Was this at Kroger? It was a Kroger, 99 cents per pound. Okay. And I think this was like seven, eight pounds. So all I just use, because it's so hot, I literally just use a fork to pull it apart. If you have gloves, you can use gloves, like uh, make sure they're like insulated oh. gloves. I was gonna say you better have insulated for as hot as that is right now. Right. I know a lot of the professional people that make, you know, pulled pork and things like that just use their hands and gloves. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm not one to touch food, especially when it's hot food. So this is just one sandwich. So I'm literally going to put our favorite barbecue sauce, which is Sweet Baby Ray's, which we always get at Sam's Club or Costco. Well, you know, the funny part about it is we always used to use Masterpiece mm -hmm. uh, till what, about seven or eight years ago. And Sweet Baby Ray's was, uh, they switched uh, brands at Sam's Club and you couldn't get Masterpiece anymore. And you could only get Sweet Baby Ray's. And we actually like Sweet Baby Ray's a lot better than Masterpiece. So this is our barbecue sauce of choice right now. And you can use any kind of barbecue sauce you want. You can put more spices if you want. I just really just douse it in there. And the kids actually really, really like this too, so. Mm -hmm. This is a very inexpensive meal. I just made me a little bit more barbecue sauce. Now, I know that a lot of people say pull pork and put the barbecue sauce on and then let it sit for another couple hours and let the barbecue sauce soak into the meat. Uh, you can do that. That's something you can do. Um, but if you're making something quick and easy, this is quick and easy. Well, actually, you've had 12 hours in the crock pot and then quick and easy, right? Yeah, it's like I said, it's not going to take less than five minutes of prep time to throw it in, cook it for 12 hours, and basically five minutes of doing this and you're done. You can always put more barbecue sauce on. One of my children uh, loves to put more barbecue sauce on, and you can always put a piece of cheese on it. Oh, that, that sounds like a great idea, putting a piece of cheese on it. So there is the mix. Who gets to eat this? You do. <laughs> I haven't had lunch yet either. And it's dinner time. So we just basically use hamburger buns. It's not... Yeah, Kroger hamburger buns, they're cheap. It's not very expensive. So you're probably talking about this meal is probably less than my guess. Well, one sandwich is going to be less than a buck. Oh, way less than a dollar. My guess, this sandwich, because this thing was seven dollars and eight, like eight dollars, mm -hmm. and we do get a lot of meals out of this. Yep. So my guess, this sandwich may cost you fifty cents. If that. Right. Because the buns, I think, were a dollar. I think I got the buns on sale actually. I think they run about a dollar twenty-five, but yep. you get them as cheap as a dollar. So that's rounded off if it's twenty cents per bun. Yep. Um. So my guess, this would cost you a fifty cent dinner. And like I say, if you want, after you put the barbecue sauce on, if you let it set for um, a few hours, actually, to let the barbecue sauce soak in, then uh, it's going to be really, really good. There you go. A pulled pork sandwich. Quick and easy. Uh, outside of 12 hours in the crock pot, quick and easy to make, right? Right. And uh, we are going to have you taste it, honey. So I have my pulled pork sandwich now, so... Um, I've had these before, so I know they're really good, but I am going to taste test this and make sure it's still really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is so tender. So tender coming out of the crock pot after 12 hours. And so good. And again... If you want to get more flavor into the meat, just let it set in the barbecue sauce for a little while, I mean, a couple hours if you want, and then warm it up again, or put it back in the you know another crock pot and let it just really simmer. It'll be really, really good. So this is the leftovers. And what do you do with leftovers? You pack them up. You pack it up in the, one of these 
quart size freezer bag. So what we do is we just basically date it and we write what's on it. So today is four, nine. And then this is pulled pork. And this has been setting what for? About uh, an hour. About an hour. So it's got a lot of, getting a lot of flavor into the meats from the barbecue sauce. And it's cooled down enough so that we can actually put it in the freezer bag and not have to worry about it melting the bag. So all you do is just basically fill it up. And we did have this for dinner one night when I had nothing to make. I wasn't wanting to cook. So we pulled it out of our freezer. Hold on a second, I can help a little bit here. Okay. I'll hold it open while you do that. We pulled it out of our freezer and then we just basically it in the microwaved it and that was our dinner. Put it in the microwave and we're good to go. Right. Okay. Wow, oh, two forks, you're talented. That's right, you're an expert with chopsticks, I should remember that. So what I usually do is I clean it up a little bit. I literally clean up a little bit and leave a corner open and you lay it flat. Oh, and squish out all the air. Squish, yep. And if you do this, it microwaves better because it's not as thick. And that's it. And you just basically throw that in your freezer and yep. you're done. That's it. Thanks for watching our videos. Do appreciate it. Our pulled pork video. That's uh, how we do a quick pulled pork in a crock pot, right? Yes, it's really easy. It, and it just doesn't cost that much, really. It may cost you maybe 50 cents per serving, if that. Thanks for watching our videos. Do appreciate it. We uh, would really love for you to hit that subscribe button below if you have not already done so. Also, that bell notification button below. And help us out by hitting the like button, too. We'd really appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching.